Thanks for joining me as we begin section 7.3, Linear Independence. The goal of this section is to define linear dependence and independence, and to determine if a collection of vectors in Rn is linearly dependent or independent. Let's go ahead and start with definition 7.3.1. A collection of vectors v1, v2 through vk in Rn is called linearly dependent if the equation a1v1 plus a2v2 plus all the way up to akvk equals the zero vector. This equation incidentally is also called the dependence equation for the vectors v1 through vk. If this equation has a solution where at least one of the scalars a1 through e ak, these are the unknowns of the equation, is non-zero. The dependence equation written with one of these non-zero solutions is called a dependence relation for the vectors. Part 2. A collection of vectors v1 through vk in Rn is called linearly independent if it is not linearly dependent. Let's move to example 7.3.1. We're going to do part A in this video, and we'll do part B of the example in the next video. So example 7.3.1 says, in each of the cases below, determine if the collection of vectors is linearly dependent or independent. If it is linearly dependent, give a dependence relation. So we're going to go and apply the definition that's right above, which means that we need to examine the dependence equation for these two vectors. That dependence equation is nothing more than a linear combination, a1v1 plus a2v2 set equal to the zero vector. And we take the definition here and say that if there is a non-zero solution then the set of vectors v1, v2 is linearly dependent. If there is not a non zero, so double negative, if there is only the zero solution, then the set v1, v2 is linearly independent. So this dependence equation is a vector equation, and we know vector equations have equivalent linear systems. So we will examine the equivalent linear system to determine the number of solutions. You'll notice that this vector equation has constants, the entries of the zero vector, which are all zero. And so the equivalent linear system is going to be a homogeneous linear system. a1 plus zero a2 is zero. Minus two a1 plus a2 is zero. 0a1 plus a2 is 0, and minus a1 plus 3a2 is 0. We see right away that a1 and a2 have to be 0. Since this is a homogeneous system, that 0 solution will absolutely work in the other equations. Homogeneous systems are never inconsistent, right? They are always consistent. So there is only the zero solution. And you remember that that zero solution is called the trivial solution. Since that there is only the zero solution, no non-zero solution, the set v1, v2 is linearly independent. 
The next video will do part B of example 7.3.1.